everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with day two with Spellbinders, and today's project is featuring their Glimmer Kit of the Month, and it is called a Floral Framed Glimmering Heart. I love the way all of their club kits go together. I, I'm just really enjoying that. The foil that I will be using for today's card, too, is called Blush. It is one of my favorites. I have to say it's my second. After Aura. Yes, absolutely. So I'm creating my hinge. I'm going to be using the scalloped plate on some dark chocolate cardstock. And then they also have an inner heart too. I'll be die cutting that from red cardstock. And then they have this frame. It's this beautiful floral frame. Again, I'm going to create my hinge <clears throat> because I'm putting this right on my four by five and a quarter panel that's going to go onto my standard A2 size card base. So I always like to create the hinge. With this set, you also get a sentiment die. So I'm going to be using some rose gold cardstock. And I'm going to make sure that the center is within that banner. And then I will get that in place when I die cut that. This set also comes, I'm loving that the Glimmer has both die cuts and also Glimmer in some cases, which is really cool. So I'm going to die cut my leaves from two different shades of green. I'm die cutting the florals out of some white because we're going to add some dye ink to give them some color. And our first floral frame, you can see, is absolutely beautiful. Now, I use the shim, the clear plate, and I put a piece of 110 cardstock in between. And I have always gotten some fabulous results. Some machines are different. That's what works for me. It may not work for everybody. And I use all types of different cardstock in my Glimmer machine. I use um, Nina Solar. I've used watercolor. I've used um, vellum. I've used, <laughs> you name the cardstock, I've run it through my, my Glimmer uh, machine. And I get the same results. So I don't know what I do differently. I just, that's all I do. You also get the die to cut out the heart plate, the scalloped heart plate. So I'm going to use that so that I can die cut that out. And everything just nestles into each other, which I think is just great. Once I have all of my die cutting done and everything's set, it's time to layer up our panel. Now, I always like to have more greens. I like to add a lot of leaves when I do my die cutting and add the collaging. I will add some double-sided foam squares just to give it some dimension because we do have so many different layers and textures going on. Adding dimension just helps to break them apart. And again, the double-sided foam squares that I'm using, they're not the super thick ones. Uh, they're what I call the low rats. <laughs> I have the red heart on top of that. I'm going to take that banner and it will go across the hearts. But you can see in your glimmer framed area, these large floral die cuts fit perfectly. Now, I only used the larger ones. I didn't use the smaller ones that you see there. Um, you can, I mean, by all means. Um, I just chose not to, and I'm just adding my leaves underneath where those flowers are. And I'm offsetting against the foiled area because I don't want to cover that up. So everyone's getting a darker leaf and a lighter leaf. I'm going to grab one of my small detailed blending brushes and mustard seed, and I'm going to just go into the centers 
of those flowers and then I'll finish those off with a pearl. I'm going to take my banner and put that again across the heart. And on the end, I am going to add a second one because we have the multiple layers from the hearts. So just to keep that even, I'm going to use my double sided tape to place this onto my card base. And it will be a top folding card base. I'm also going to add, I know this is not going to be an odd number. Trust me, I knew that as I was putting this together. There's four flowers. Usually I would go with three or five. So yeah, it was something that I was thinking about. <laughs> I'm going to add some small white pearls to the center of my flowers and also along um, the base the card base and the heart and if you notice my my pearls <laughs> my pearls are in an odd number so that kind of helped i hope you enjoyed today's card uh, featuring the spellbinders glimmer kit of the month for december called floral framed glimmering heart as always the product that i used will be listed down below along with all of the other clubs that are available my goodness they just keep adding to that list um, also to their shop but most of all to their blog so that you can get even more inspiration so again i hope you enjoyed day two of my spellbinders week that i love to put together if you have any questions make sure you leave those down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can enjoy the holidays are fast coming up to us. Um, enjoy the process. Have fun creating your cards, your tags, your gifts um, for your friends and family. But most of all, remember, while you're doing that, just keep being creative, guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Till then.